Well, there's no denying hockey is not the same game as it was 40 years ago, and neither is the equipment. That's especially true when it comes to goaltenders. Today, in a two-part series, Eyewitness Sports reporter Aaron Flynn talks with the guys behind the masks. Goaltenders didn't mask their fear. In fact, goalies didn't hide much in the early days of the sport. Sabres assistant equipment manager Ensel Porky Palmer played in the late 50s and early 60s. He's part of a fraternity of goalies with a high threshold for pain. And I got hit in the old odd, and it's a, and uh, I was playing seniors, and I got hit in the side of the head in the second period, and don't remember finishing the game. This is what Porky wore, similar to other goalies at the time, and a mask wasn't even an option until the early 60s. Bobby Hall and Makita and, and uh, them guys, were they, they shot the puck hard, and some of them shot him what they call a heavy shot. Goaltending has always been a demanding position, both mentally and physically. The goaltenders that first played the game, though, they were of a different breed. They weren't allowed to wear much equipment, and even the rules weren't on their side. The rules stated they couldn't wear any added protection that gave them assistance in keeping goal. The equipment goalies did wear was heavy and got heavier with sweat. The pads would weigh 8 to 10 pounds by the end of a game. We were playing a, a playoff game in uh, spring. There's a lot of water on ice. You wear them pads, or they would be soaking wet. Porky went through the struggles of an early goalie for the money. Not for the money he received, though. The money he paid. You had to pay up money to, pay to go play. So what I figured, if I'm going to pay $5, I'm going to be on the ice all the time. I love it now. You know, I mean, I loved it then. I love it now. Sore, broken, and unpaid. It took heart and guts to play the game between the pipes. Aaron Flynn. Eyewitness Sports. And tonight at 11 o'clock, uh, the Sabres' Martin Biron steps back in time with Porky Palmer and gets brand new respect for the early goaltenders.